What's up everyone? It's Will Lett with Urbex and Coasters and bad day at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Put it mildly. So we've got Batman down. We've got Superman down. We've got Joker down. We've got Flash down. We've got so many of the rides down, including two of the big three are down right now. And I literally just got here being like, hey, I want to get a few rides in before before the park closes because I got a season pass being that I'm gonna be living in the Bay Area this summer. So I got a season pass here. And it's like, it's every ride is down, it seems. Like, I mean, at some point, this feels intentional. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Like, if you post that you quote that you're open till six, be open till six. Don't start closing rides at four or four thirty. People like, like, I mean, I might be a season pass holder, but not everyone who's here is a season pass holder. So you're gonna advertise that you're open till six. Be open till six. It's not that complicated. You've got like that entire half of the park is down in terms of rides like th that is like i get that things happen but it's like for that all to all to be going on at the same time i mean that is just unacceptable <laughs> i'm just gonna say that so i'm gonna try to conquer the other side of the park in the hour and a half that's left in the day it's very frustrating that i got here 45 minutes ago being like hey, it's the last couple hours on a weekday. Maybe I'll be able to knock out a bunch of the credits from people leaving the park early. And and the park is like, nope, we're just gonna shut everything down as soon as we can. And Flash has a sign in front of it saying, saying this ride will reopen soon, as in it's a planned closure. So like, I mean, I get that the planned closures happen. I get that rides go down. I get that that's a thing that occurs. But for this all to be happening at once, it, like, I mean, I I get that this happens. I've seen, I think it was Airtime Frills did a video on Fiesta Texas, this same thing happening. So, so like, I mean, I get that it's a thing that happens sometimes. I get that it's, just really unlucky circumstances but like I mean it's it's certainly frustrating when it happens and in addition to that I've had an encounter with line jumpers for a line I didn't even stay in and line jumpers that were pretty adamant about doing their their line jumping you want to be in this urbex and coasters is my channel name not that famous. Can I say hi? Sure. Hi vlog. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, do, I'll let people do that. But yeah, so not a great start to, not a great first impression for Six Flags Discovery Kingdom as one of my home parks to, to make on me in this first, in this first 30 minutes of me being here. Looks like Medusa might be down too. It might be stuck on the lift hill. That would that would just be the cherry on top to all this if Medusa was stuck on the lift hill with all the other rides being closed. That would just be the cherry on top. It would just be. <laughs> But yeah, not a great day here at Discovery Kingdom, if you can't tell.